When we play volleyball, we can play without setting. Not only the setters have to set the ball, but actually all players have to be able to set well. That's why in today's video I'm going to show you three simple drills uh, that will help you improve your setting skills. How many times have you had a player in the field defending hard attack almost perfectly, but then a player other than a setter had to set the ball and his set was bad? You lost a play that you should have uh, taken advantage of and score a point because of a bad set. This is why even the best uh, clubs and national teams in the world are dedicated to setting drills for all players to prevent these inaccurate sets and lost points. And I firmly believe that you want to set well as well. The first simple exercise you can do yourself is to set about a meter or two above yourself at the net. With that uh, you slowly go forward and keep setting above yourself. The volleyball should not fly to one side or the other, but still over your head. And when you go near the net, uh, you'll be forced to go straight and not zigzag. As soon as you go to the end of the net, uh, immediately continue to set the same sets, just go backwards. Take small steps backwards and uh, keep the ball uh, above you at all times so that it doesn't fly sideways and also so that uh, you are setting it at the same height. The second exercise, which is uh, much more difficult, will be done also at the net, about a meter from the net. Two players are setting the ball between themselves. Only this is not a classic set in front of you. But when the ball comes in, we set the ball over ourselves, turn 180 degrees and set it backwards. The important thing is to set the first ball exactly over your head so that you don't have to take several steps to get under the ball. Also always turn exactly 180 degrees so that you are setting backwards on the axis of your shoulders. If you don't turn correctly, your sets will fly sideways and you don't want that. Although in the vast majority of cases I recommend you set in front of you because it's easier and more accurate, it's good to know how to set behind your head as well, which you can also use in an unusual situation in a match. Again, the more complex you are in each skill, the better player you will be. And the third drill is no longer static, almost without movement like the first two drills. Instead, you'll be setting after moving away from the net. The player who will be setting is standing at the net. He's ready in the block position. The other player and coach in this drill has the ball in his hand. He's standing in the court, uh, throwing or setting the ball high as if the ball is defended by the defending player. As soon as the coach hits the ball and signals, the setting player turns and immediately looks uh, for the incoming ball and tries to set it high to the other side. Coach also does not throw the ball in the same area all the time. He but changes where the, he throws the ball and the setter is forced to react quickly and get under the ball as quickly as uh, possible. At the moment of setting, he should no longer be in the motion. It's also important to turn the body and shoulders to the place uh, where the ball is being set. Otherwise, again, your sets will not be accurate. And when you do this exercise in pairs, after a few good sets, uh, switch rows. The setter becomes the coach and vice versa. Once you have done a few reps, uh, switch sides. Now the setting player is at the net in zone 2 and performs the same drill, starting after the signal and trying to set the ball as accurately as possible. It's also a good to set these sets uh, from the field close to the net uh, so that the attacker has more opportunities and angles to attack. Because attacking a high set uh, 2 meters from the net against a triple block is no fun, but you know that. Also be sure you try to set with your overhead pass as much as possible in these situations. Because setting with your overhead pass uh, is always more accurate than with a bump. On the other hand, uh, since most of you are not setters, I don't recommend regularly falling behind the ball to play it with your overhead pass at all costs. Top setters can do that. If the ball is really complicated and you can get under it quickly, then pass with a bump as well. And again, try to put a quality high set uh, close to the net and antenna. And if you don't have the strength to make these high sets over the court, uh, check out this video where I show you an exercise to develop strength for setting. Anyway, take the time to set high sets during training even if you are not setter and become a complete player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.